interesting um, opportunities where you can also showcase your research. So, syempre, I think this is always, it's always a good time to start researching. Okay ba tayo doon? <laughs> okay, now that we've understood what this conference is all about, it is very fitting to start our keynote speech with one distinguished librarian researcher. So for our next speaker, our keynote speaker, he is currently the senior expert and the information literacy coordinator at Nazarbayev University Library, Nur Sultan, Kazakhstan. He is the steering committee chair of the 9th Eurasian Academic Libraries Conference. His programs focus on developing IL modules, integrating IL activities in library programming, and also raising MIL awareness in the local setting. So let us all welcome Mr. Joseph Yap. Hi, Joseph. I don't know for a while. Greetings from Kazakhstan. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Okay. Thank you, Miss Anna, for that introduction. Parang ganun na rin yung sasabihin ko eh. Pwede yun na lang ba? <laughs> okay. So, wait. All right. So, greetings from Kazakhstan again. Good morning, Filipino LIS professionals, my friends there in the Philippines who's part of this virtual conference. Um, you know, it's really an honor for me to take part in this first uh, conference on library and information studies, CLIS 2020, Transforming Library Spaces. Sponsored by Telesal University and Philippine Normal University Library Science Alumni Association. So um, we are two hours apart, so it was really a blessing to wake up very early today. I'm so delighted talking about uh, trends in research, LIS literature, because, you know, um, LIS research in Philippines now is gradually increasing. Basically, what I'm going to share this morning are more of an experience on my part. So there. I hope it's working now. Is it working or not? Okay. So after three years of moving here in Kazakhstan, I never imagined giving my first ever keynote address to, to my former home, the LSU Libraries, and two Filipino librarians who are here with us right now. I'm really happy and at the same time nervous because I'm giving this responsibility of, to address the keynote speech. Um, so thank you for giving me this opportunity for the trust and confidence. So I really appreciate that one. I would like to express my sincere gratitude to Ms. Anna for being the conference chair, to Ms. Christina Bigo as a director of, um, of the LSU Libraries, and of course to Mr. Julius as uh, president of PNU Isaha. So during my years of stay here in um, uh, during my years of stay in De La Salle University, it was always part of my research growth or my career plan to do research and. Uh, I always believe that librarians should be part of research culture. So again, let me just thank DLSU Libraries for all the opportunities it opened up for me um, because uh, without them, I couldn't reach um, this, this kind of career that I have right now. So it is just really uh, a good day for me, for, for all of us today. So this is just one of the photos we had during that time where Christine and I received this for like a, an award for being for achieving ASF level two uh, sometime 2013 or 2012 or 2013 I think so so one of the objectives of this conference is fostering a culture of research among Filipino librarians so, so 
it was discussed nga kanina by Miss Anna that research skills are very uh, are desirable competencies that all of us should have as a librarian. So as noted here by Professor or by Professor Wayna Santos from UPSLIS in her journal article entitled <coughs> excuse me the profile of a modern Filipino librarian an examination of perceived competencies. Now, it was published in International Information and Library Review in 2018. She mentioned, and I will quote this one, in order to be effective research librarians, one must be fully aware uh, of the current research trends and issues in the field. That's the end of quote. So what she's telling us is that we should be updated in our own field, in our own profession. So how many of us read journal articles just, uh, just as part of our daily routine, our profession, or if there is like a Twitter post related to LIS research, do we enjoy reading it or share it? Or do we even get the same curiosity so we can apply it into our own, in our own research? Um, so this was mentioned by Miss Anna a while ago. There are Filipino librarians who tend to overthink that um, they are fear. They have this fear that they are not capable of doing research. So in this 2014 study, it's mentioned by Miss Anna, uh, published by Apolinario, De Clevias, um, La Grama, and Sagun, they surveyed the research confidence level of librarians in terms of identifying research partners. So. I think we have to focus on collaboration here. So they revealed that only 28 out of those 325, which is like roughly 9%, are completely confident uh, based on a six level confidence scale. You know? So on this, similarly, research tasks such as determining appropriate format for disseminating results, let's say you're choosing whether you want a poster presentation or a face to face presentation or an article publication, and identifying appropriate places to disseminate results, such as whether you want it to in a conference as well. Um, they have the same confidence level with only 45 out of 325 or 14% who are completely confident that can recognize proper format for research dissemination, and only 19 out of 325 those who are completely confident in identifying appropriate places to disseminate results. So I hope that we should, or from this moment on, that we could break that barrier and take another leap, you know, because this is the goal of the conference, of the virtual conference. So I hope that towards the end of the presentation of this speech is that I could be able to inspire you or motivate you and make you a responsible and ethical researcher as well. So um, this is a challenging task for, for both of us, I think. And research is not um, about having so complicated methodologies. You can just start with very simple action research like collection evaluation or either collection assessment, something like that. Um, so moving on, let's benchmark Philippines with four other Southeast Asian countries using Saival. So if you have a um, uh, subscription to Saival, that's an online tool for, for research performance. Let's try this one. So I use two metrics from Saival. I use the years of publication from 2015 to 2020 and scholarly output choosing all publications. So what can you notice here? So leading in this list is actually Singapore, right? Um, it's followed by Malaysia and then Indonesia and then Vietnam and finally the Philippines. So Saival's data analytics show that there is an average of just nine scholarly outputs published in a year for the last five years, excluding 2020, and that's only for the Philippines. So those publication types may actually include, um, may actually include conference papers, uh, journal articles, books, or book chapters. So these are the top five research institutions with Scopus Index LIS publications. So it, here, it doesn't mean that all those authors coming from these institutions are librarians. They just publish in LIS journals. So leading in this list is uh, De La Salle University, Manila, then followed by UP, um, IRI, UE, and CIFTEC. So just make a guess. So answer will be revealed on the next slide. No. 
So among these Filipino LIS researchers, who do you think has published more than three scholarly outputs based on CIFAL data? So here are the choices and just read them. So answers will be on the next slide. So here, um, this is this is the list of the authors from 2015 to 2020 uh, published in LIS journals. So not everyone here is a librarian, as I mentioned. So only those with X marks are the librarians. Uh, so Superio, Cabunero, Alayon, Cajes, Clevia Carlos, Oliveros, Peñaflor, and marami pa below. Okay. Um, for example, I'm, I'm, let's try to get Superio's article here. So he publishes, majority of his publications are coming from information development. And um, in, in just a year, he was able to publish three of them. And he collaborates with other co-authors within CIFDEC and outside CIFDEC as well. Um, this is his uh, Google Scholar account or profile. So if you are interested to collaborate with him, you can see here he has about 25 citations for all of his publications. Then we have David Cabonero. He's from Nueva St. Mary's University in Nueva Vizcaya, if I'm not mistaken. So most of his publications here are actually coming from one journal, Library Philosophy and Practice. And what, um, if you will notice here, one of his works is about the awareness and applicability of McDonaldization in an academic library in the Philippines. If you're curious what he is talking about in this journal article, you can read it. This is an open access journal. This is David Cambodero's um, Google Scholar account. So he has about 33 citations already. Then Cajes. Cajes has, pub has published in two of the journals in 2017 and 16. What is Pakistan Journal of Information Management and Libraries? This is open access, but to publish, you have to pay a certain fee. And Bilgi Dunyasi from Turkey, which is in, in English, it's information world, it's open access and free. This is Meika's um, Google Scholar account. She has about 10 citations, but I think there is something wrong in, in, this, in this profile. And then finally, I'll just give four examples. No? And then finally, it's Peña Flor Janis. She published in two journals, Library Management, but access to library management is not free from Emerald. And in 2017, from Journal of Educational Media and Library Sciences, which is from Taiwan. Now, this is Peña Flor's um, number of citations. She has currently nine. Now, among those four authors presented a while ago, who has already received an ITAN index? So ITAN index is created by Google Scholar and used in Google's My Citations feature. So ITAN index is the number of publications with at least 10 citations. So from those four authors, who do you think received it? So make a guess, but I'll give you the answer on the next slide. So it is actually Dave Capunero because um, he received more than 10 uh, citations in one article, which is the first one. So he received one item index. So Ms. Anna pre presented a while ago that conferences such as CLIS 2020 is really a great opportunity for the local authors to disseminate their research and results now. So whatever motivates you to submit either for a journal or conference, don't ever lose that inspiration. No? Sub submit more papers or to other conferences. Make sure to do not let go of this burning passion and let uh, complete your research at the right time. So there is always a first time for everything. So if this is your first time presenting in a university conference, then that's fine, right? So can you remember all those first time events you experienced in life, like first travel abroad, like your, your first time employment, etc. So on the next succeeding slides, I would be telling you my first experiences when doing research or when my papers were accepted. So this was the first time. This is the first conference I attended in Vietnam in 2007. And, you know, it was never my intention to be part of that. It was just my boss who encouraged me to submit. This conference is actually a conference not related to library sciences. This is a conference where a lot of medical and health practitioners are there because uh, just a, a brief background, I was working on a non-government organization, which is related to medical and health literature. So I was a librarian there. So she said, why not present our projects? So I gave it a try. I was newbie. I didn't know what to do. No one guided me. So 
So there, but after that, um, after the presentation, my paper was uh, published in their local journal, of course, in Vietnamese. So that was my first experience of Chai. Then it was followed by a poster presentation in, a, in the Joint International Tropical Medicine Meeting in Mahidol University in Thailand. Again, this is um, not, again, my intention. I was just told to do as a follower I did. So it was a rewarding experience for me. I get to travel in two different countries, right? The good thing is the results of those two presentations was combining all of those experiences, I was able to provide a short report for the Southeast Asian Journal of Tropical Medicine and Public Health. The good thing about that is that I didn't even know, I was not aware during that time, that um, this journal is being indexed by not only Scopus, but also Web of Science. So that this is my first ever publication indexed in, a, in an indexing database. So, of course, we get rejections too, right? Um, there's always a heartache. It's not always a good thing. I mean, it's not always the happy moments in life. We, always, we, also, we also have this rejection, the fear of rejection, the moment where you are not yet ready to, to know the results. No? So this is also true for conferences and publications. Um, so once you receive this kind of uh, information or results, so let us think in for a while and Makakabawi ka naman, di ba, ulit. Uh, do not, do not um, take it as a, as a way na masisira na yung entire life or career mo. So, you know that uh, you did a lot of efforts to submit your manuscript, to prepare for that. You think that the whole manuscript is really okay, it's readable, uh, that there was no really pers minuscule percentage that it won't be rejected, but it happened, no? Because of course, it's subjective to the eyes of the editors as well. So learn just to accept that failure and follow the recommendations of the reviewer. I say it's a, it's a free peer review na. So try to resubmit na lang in, in other LIS publications or why not submit in a conference as well to receive more feedback. Okay, and just, by the way, do not also submit um, one paper into two different journals because it's also unethical, which is just a reminder. So where to find LIS journals for publication? Ms. Anna mentioned a few local ones um, um, before, no? So why not search first if you have access to Scopus or Web of Science? If you don't have access to, to, to Web of Science or Scopus, then you might want to use CIMAGO's, um, um, CIMAGO's journal rank for LIS. It's completely free, it's open and accessible. So uh, once you choose or once you find a, um, find, looking for a journal, you have to check um, the citation formats they're using, the author guidelines. You have to read them carefully before submitting para hindi ka naman din ma-reject because one, one aspect or one factor that you are being rejected is because you don't follow author guidelines or you don't follow citation formats. So immediately they will just you know tell you that you are not the right author for this journal. So Miss Anna mentioned Paral Research Journal a while ago, and also I would like to share the Philippine Journal of Librarianship and Information Studies from UP Dilman. Formerly, this is the Journal of Philippine Librarianship. So start with local LIS journals. It will also increase your visibility as a researcher. No, you can always start from something or somewhere else. Also, if you are not yet confident to submit in a journal, why not submit entries for a professional magazine or online newsletter? So here you can just again, consult editorial guidelines before submitting those. So this is also a way for you to, to spread your, your research results. Um, so what are the ranks of journals where Filipinos publish? Um, sinabi kanina Ms. Anna that um, ready na ba talaga tayo magsulat or dapat ba talaga tayo magsulat kasi <clears throat> ano ba talaga makakuha natin out of that? But she mentioned that ano, maraming motivating factors no? or incentives. Pero mahalaga rin ba na we determine um, the ranking of the journals where we publish? So this is what we're this is what we're going to talk about in the next few slides. So quartiles, you know, meron Q1 to Q4, they, they determine the prestige of a journal. So authors look for the top 25%. Yung mga non-librarians, halimbawa, yung mga nasa medical field, engineers or other professionals or, or authors, yun yung mga hinahanap nila kasi important naman din siya sa, sa promotion nila, yun yung hinahanap, no? But 
for now, as a newbie, as a novice, do not settle for that. Learn to enjoy the craft muna. So let's say for this one, um, Darin Superior Publishing Information Development, no? Um, this journal is considered a Q1 journal. By the way, do not compare LIS journals into other fields. Let's say you're comparing LIS publications to engineering. Do not do that because it's eh. um, So this one, Information Development, is a, a, a peer-reviewed journal that uh, emphasizes on information needs and problems of developing countries. So you can go back again to the titles of his research later. Again, he also published in Journal of Library and, and Administration. It's also considered a Q1 publication with 0.7 SJR. So ito naman, it, uh, it, it forms the readers about research, current developments, and trends related to leadership and management in libraries. And, and my last example would be, in, uh, would be this one from Dave, which is Library Philosophy and Practice. It's a peer-reviewed electronic journal that publishes articles exploring connection between library practice philosophy and theory. So it's considered a Q2 library science journal. So where to find LIS conferences? So marami na dyan. I think aware naman tayo. We, can, we won't reach almost 500 participants now kung hindi tayo aware kung saan mahanap. No? Pero internationally, you might want to check um, IFLAS mailing list or join them on no? mga listservs. Um, ALA, for example, and I also recommend that you librarians for the professional development plan naman din of colleagues at work, um, compile them and make sure to disseminate them to all of your librarians. Kasi problem is, hindi naman din sila aware or baka first time talaga nila marinig yun. So also make sure that when selecting conferences or journals, practice critical evaluation because marami rin naglipa na ng mga predatory conferences and journals. So but we're not going to talk about uh, those things right now. Here, library conferences in Asia, let's say, sa, sa website or sa portal ng library learning space, um, may kita niyo yung library conferences in Asia 2020. But unfortunately nga, because of travel restrictions, we cannot. And also, nag-compile din yung dalawang librarians, James Thul, tsaka si, Ma si Marian Dorasek, I think, um, international related library conferences. So if you want to travel the world, you can just look at this list. It's very updated and um, yeah, you can check all the kinds of conferences from different countries. Next is Jung Advocate. Next objective is advocate research mentoring between expert and neophyte librarian researchers. No? So the challenge is actually finding our role models no, in the profession to achieve, to achieve career goals. So it's important that we find somebody who can guide us, to look up for someone, someone who could inspire us. So there, there's what we call community of practice where Let's say at the LSU, there is a mentoring program where novice wants is partner with an experienced librarian. Then they get to share ideas, experiences, or critique one's work. So, and do not be afraid to receive negative comments or feedback because it could help you. Oh, actually, I really wanted to hear ko ano mga hindi ko magaganda na sabi or ano yung mali ko sa, pag, sa process mismo. So, accept it and then do collaboration. No? So, it could help you also to build your strong research career. And there's also a difference between coaching and mentoring because coaching nag focus lang siya sa isang um, specific na task, no? While mentoring is a long-term process, no? It can even encapsulate even your personal life mo para paano ka maggrow as a as a researcher. So mentoring from the start pa lang, what is the mission vision of the library? How can you help us in research until many ways on how this person can help you grow uh, and support you in the process of making research. Um, encourage novice librarians to embrace research as part of their professional uh, practice. So ano ba talaga? what will really convince you to start doing research? Um, we may give a lot of you know things to inspire you but it's really you who should push yourself regardless if meron bang incentive of Oala because nakikita mo that you can contribute to the society. So on the next slide where I publish in Career Transitions for Librarians, um, sinabi ko dito, like nabanggit naman din Ms. Anna previously, but that the LSU has different kinds of support for academic service faculty members, including librarians. No? Um, 
we get incentives for publishing in ISI or Scopus Index publications. We get other additional research incentives and support for funding in registration fees and in, in the international grant. I hope ganito rin yung meron sa inyong institution, institutions. If wala naman, baka meron o hindi nyo lang alam, siguro start um, asking your HR or kung sino man. Pero kung wala, sana magkaroon talaga ng effort sa Philippines na mabigyan ng opportunity yung librarians to do all those, all those things with the support of also of our institutions. So, makakatulong din yung pagiging resource speaker nyo, pagiging author, peer reviewer, uh, to gain uh, CPD points. No? So, let's say um, you get to become resource speaker, then you get the credit units, you get to publish in an international journal, you get 15 uh, points. So, okay na siya, di ba? Tapos ka na, hindi mo na kailangan maghanap pa ng ibang, um, ng mga iba pang CPD activities kung mag mo na agad yun. I'm not yet, I'm not sure if na-update na to, pero ito yung current na nakita ko. So, you get to travel the world, you know, as you can see here, hindi naman sa, syempre, when, wow, naman, nakapunta na siya sa different countries. No? So, so, in some cases, I find myself too, because if you're really into it, no, not everything is free. Um, sometimes you get um, dalawang acceptance papers. Eh, isa lang naman yung pwede fund. So, yung next is, pwede ka mag-apply for leave time, and then gastos ka for sarili mo. So, if you really love what you're doing, and you, you, will, you will definitely do everything to go there. So, ganon. So I miss traveling na talaga. Um, so I asked Darius Superio because he was one of my examples here. No? And he does research and involve colleagues at work. Um, and I asked him, ano ba yung nagpupush sa'yo to do research? Sabi niya, hindi naman nababayaran ng pera ang joy when you see your name sa isang journal article. Diba? Parang yung feeling na, wow, my name is there. It, it, a lot of researchers can read my work and I can contribute to the society. So he wants to contribute to the knowledge generation of LIS. So yun, makipag-partner kayo sa kanya kasi masipag talaga siya. Um, here, so syempre yung sa akin naman. So uh, you, you can contribute to the wealth of scientific literature in so many ways. No? You share your best practices, um, you solve organizational issues, um, as what Ms. Anna mentioned. Also, you can win awards or get more incentives. Um, in one of my paper presentations, I received third best paper, let's say, and, and then um, um, and then you get to know a lot of people, you, you get to interact with them, and then um, I, I've read some of the abstracts for CLIS, and I think we have we have a, a good future. We have a new set of emerging scholars. So I am excited to see you grow uh, in the field of publications. I hope that your publication productivity will really soar high to the highest level possible. Promote research collaboration among librarians from different institutions. It's very important. Meron din kasing metrics yan eh. No? Pagka, nag, pagka nagbibigay ng rankings for the university, I'll just make it very quickly. These are my collaborators. And I thank all of you, really, because um, without you, we won't publish a paper, di ba? So I encourage everybody to collaborate and find fellow researchers in the same field. So it is nice to work with all of you guys. I, I learned from you while doing our papers. It could be, again, within your institution, outside, a partner with a foreign, foreign uh, colleague. So, yeah. And then finally, um, read the works of authors. Comment on their work. It may lead to a fruitful discussion. Um, here is my Google Scholar. I want everybody to challenge yourselves. It's time for us to progress and step up with LIS research. So never stop being curious. Research will really help us solve problems. Keep on writing, continue exploring, enjoy collaborating and presenting papers, and target at least one published manuscript a year. Again, read the works of your friends, of your colleagues. By this, by this way, we help each other. Um, here are my references. Maraming salamat po sa pagbigay ng opportunity. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joseph.